Hi from the Great Indian Geek. Today I'll show you how to install XAMPP on your laptop or your desktop computer so that you can install and uh, run, develop, test your uh, website offline on your PC uh, without, a, without an internet connection. So first we need to go to Google uh, and uh, type download XAMPP so that uh, we can get the latest version. So the first uh, link is from Apache Friends and from there uh, you can get uh, a lot of versions uh, like uh, XAMPP for Windows, for Linux, for, for OS X. So uh, uh, my machine is uh, running on uh, Windows 7. 64-bit uh, however I do not see a 64-bit but 32-bit uh, will do uh, it's of uh, 140 MB and latest version uh, PHP version so I would go for this so first step is to download XAMPP setup file So um, the download is in progress. I'll skip the video uh, till it gets downloaded. So now we have the setup file and we'll run it. We'll run the setup file. Yes. So just like any other software, you just uh, need to specify certain things while installing your software. It's always recommended to install XAMPP on your C drive. Now we have to wait for some time till the installation proceeds once the package of XAMPP has been uncompressed uh, while the installation is going on, uh, you will notice uh, new folders uh, with the name XAMPP and few temporary files uh, automatically getting uh, generated on your C drive or maybe the drive uh, where you have uh, selected XAMPP to get installed to. Well, this is taking a bit of time. Showing up few scripts, PHP scripts like Joomla, WordPress, Drupal, Magento, Moodle, coming with Vietnami. So I guess it should speed up. Yes, it is. It's almost complete. Notice some new folders. Zamp and a temporary folder created on my C drive, the drive where I am installing XAMPP. So all the files uh, will be present inside that folder.
installation is done and we would choose to run ZAMP yes so we click on finish so here's the ZAMP control panel okay okay so there must be some problem with my firewall but I hope if the service even if it is showing across but if the admin opens up after allowing access which I do yeah allow yeah so if the admin opens up I mean the PHP my admin opens up that means my MySQL is running and yeah it is here PHP my admin is running the SQL uh, database server is running so uh, now we test the local server ZAMP so this is the default website this is the default website present uh, inside the ZAMP folder uh, in the htdocs under the htdocs folder so as we can see it's the local host local host is your local machine the IP address uh, would be 127.0.0.1 so we will test it if local host is equal to the same IP address yes it is so as you can see 127.0.0.1 is equal to the local host uh, which is your local machine uh, retrieving from the C drive XAMPP folder and then under that the HD docs So this is basically nothing but a default site that has been created by XAMPP. Yeah, this folder. So the name of the folder is the path of the site. So we will create, we will create a new site, uh, yoursite.com, a sample site to make you understand how it works. www.yoursite.com. Now we will create a .htm file uh, with some sample text in it. So to create. Uh, yeah, we will do this uh, notepad thing and uh, you can always change the extension to uh, .htm from txt here you go and then uh, we edit it with a notepad and uh, write some sample text in it just for testing it no uh, html code required for this time so I'll write um, This is a sample page and I save it and I close it so now we have to test whether typing www.yoursite.com shows up this text or not I mean the default page yes so as you can see just like the previous one this is also running on your local host and it's basically nothing but a new folder under your htdocs uh, folder which you got inside the xamp folder and uh, whatever we have written you can see it so this is how you are going to run all your websites on your pc thank you for watching do subscribe for more videos